Mackenzie. Oh, nice to see you. Diego Martinez, nice to see you again. Next week. I'm here for my three o'clock appointment. Oh, excellent. Please take a seat. Yeah. Is it okay if I put my stuff down? Oh, yeah. Thank you. Here's my business card. Please feel free to call me if you have any questions where I can help you. Oh. And, um, yeah, it's a pleasure talking to you today. I've heard a lot of good news about you from Mike Sue, who went out there fishing uh, Senator Island, uh -huh. where you guys met. Mike Sue, yeah, I did meet him there. Uh, he actually got a, I remember that trip, he got a stingray stuck in the casting oh, net. Oh, that's the worst. <laughs> Yeah, he spent like an hour cutting that baby out, trying not to get barbed by it. It was, oh, it was a nightmare, but I'm out safely. That's the important part. I'm out safely. That's it. Yeah, those are always tricky. Very tricky. Uh, complete accident. There. Well, I, I want to thank you again for taking the time to meet with me today on such a short notice. Mm -hmm. Like I told you over the phone, NetSuite is going to help you achieve what you never thought was possible as far as customer relationship management. And I know that's one thing that's important for you since you are well known for your customer service. Uh, so yes, we are. So what I'd like to do today is to go ahead and you know ask you a few questions, make sure that I understand what's important to you and talk only about that, and then talk a little bit about NetSuite and how this can help you reach your goals. And if it makes sense, we can talk about implementation. Okay. How does that sound? Sounds good. All right. And uh, is it okay if I take notes today? Yeah, please do. All right. And uh, I'd like to go ahead and start asking you, uh, can you tell me a little bit more about your decision-making process? Well, I do, I do consult with uh, several managers, but I always have the final say on what happens here. Okay. And um, is there anyone else that we should bring in, you know, that, that should be in this meeting today with us? Mm. No, they're all out right now. They're all out. Okay. Yeah, I can tell it's a busy time of the yeah. day. Oh, yeah. Sorry about the update. So, uh, I'd like to go ahead and start by asking you, you know, as, as a CEO of this company with such a great reputation for customer service, what tools are you using now to keep all your customer relationships in order? We use a software called Maximizer. Maximizer, okay. Mm -hmm. And uh, how how's Maximizer work for you? Are you having any obstacles with it, and uh, what mm -hmm. kind, if any? It's it's fairly smooth. The one thing that I don't like about Maximizer mm -hmm. is that I have to be in my office to use it. Oh, okay. And for you know this business, when, when you're always out on the road and you're traveling around from here to there, and mm -hmm. you have employees constantly going on the road, it's hard to always come back to the office and put in the updates. Yeah. That's a very valid concern, especially you. I know you just got back from out of town. Oh, yeah. How was that? A good trip. A good trip. We went to a football game over in Tampa. Oh. And, uh, we lost, but it was, it was all right. My condolences. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm kind of, I'm still a little bit happier with my team UCF actually won last week. Yeah. I think uh, I think you were there also with Mike Sue. I was with Mike Sue. Yeah, we have season tickets there. Yeah, that was a great game, great game. Well, um, um, you know, back to what we were talking about next yeah. week. Um, we also, I also wanted to ask you, some of these problems that you're having with, um, with Maximizer, it seems like it's a communication gap that, that's maybe what's keeping you unsatisfied with the software. Yeah, I'd, I'd say so. so. I'd say so. Okay. And um, you also mentioned the fact that it seems like maybe a customer might have a concern and you may have, it may be delayed by the time that you can get back to them. So would you say lack of you know, real-time information oh. would be it. Oh, yeah, especially if I go home for the day. Yeah. I can't figure out what's going on until the next morning. Oh, okay. Then it just slows everything down and um, it's created some problems for us before. Mm -hmm. And uh, based off of that, if, if you don't mind me asking about, how many accounts do you usually have open on the table throughout the week? Mm -hmm. Four or five. About four or five? Okay. And about how, what's the size of those accounts usually? Dollar sign? Mm -hmm. Ballpark? It varies, mm -hmm. of course. Um, average, I'd say, two thousand. About, about two thousand. About two thousand. Okay. So, say for example, if one of these accounts was to maybe fall through the cracks, and you were to lose one of these relationships, how would that affect your organization if, if this wasn't addressed? I mean, it, it obviously wouldn't be good. I mean, for a company that values uh, mm -hmm. customer service as greatly as we do, it really has a big, big impact. Yeah. Hey, I hate losing money too. Okay. <laughs> so, um, yeah, so it sounds like this could cost you quite a bit if it's not implemented. And uh, right. so far, we've talked about the communication gap. I'm about to talk about the lack of real time information. Is there anything else that, um, any concerns that you may have that maybe I can address for you today? Mm -hmm. Maximize will occasionally do their updates or they'll occasionally, mm -hmm. they'll just, their website will just be down. We don't oh, know okay. why. They'll just be down, and we have to literally do everything on paper, mm -hmm. and then switch it over, and that's that's a hassle. Yeah, I, that's 
That's a very valid concern with technology nowadays. It's, it's almost inevitable. <laughs> and I'm, I'm glad you brought that up because with, uh, with NetSuite, for the past five weeks, excuse me, five years, we've actually been able to maintain a consistent rate. And I'm going to go ahead and show you that in just a second. And I'm glad that you brought that up. So it sounds like it's a, it's a communication and a lack of information. Yeah. And maybe a little bit of the downtime. That's something that maybe we can help you out with today. Yeah, I, I need something that I can use everywhere. I need something that's going to work smoothly. Work smoothly. Okay. So if it's okay with you, I'd like to go ahead and talk to you a little bit about NetSuite and uh, show you some more about how we can help you out with that. All right, let's see. All right. So we mentioned about this... Um, this downtime that you were having with uh, with Maximizer, and that's one of the distinguishing features with NetSuite. With NetSuite, for the past five years, we've had uptime guarantee of ninety nine and a half percent, as you can see here. What that means to you is that ninety nine percent of the time, when you go to use NetSuite, it'll be working for you. Excellent. How does that make you feel about NetSuite and the downtime problems that you've had? With your is this is this not one hundred because of the updates? It's not one hundred because of the updates. You're absolutely right. We have to. Um, we have to you know, obviously keep up with certain things if it's a little glitch, but we'll tell you in advance to make sure that you know and you're ready for it. How does that sound? Very nice. Okay. I like that. Now, we also talked about the communication, which is so important in your organization. And one of the ways that I'm confident that this is going to improve your customer service is because with NetSuite, you have a single data source where all the information is inputted into one place, and this becomes transparent to you. Mm -hmm. You can see everything that everyone's working on. You can see how far along in the process your customers are. And you can notice any patterns if they're falling off in this particular area, which may raise a red flag for you right. and help you with your business solutions. So with this, you can also restrict who sees what and make sure that you have the best communication with your staff and your managers because you know you have all uptime, up-to-date information. How, how does this make you feel? How does this resolve your concern regarding real-time information and the communication gap. How exactly does the real-time information work? Is, yeah, I'm, I'm, am I able to control it? Am I able to customize it? Yeah. I'm, I'm glad you asked. This is one of the neat tricks that NetSuite actually introduced. Let me show you here. I have this set up for you. One more second here. Okay. If you go here, this mm -hmm. is the NetSuite page that you'll be seeing for. This is called the digital dashboard. As you can see, it tells you all of your associates, right. all of the accounts open on the table. It tells you how far along if they've done business with you before, why or why not. And if you go here, if you click on create an account, okay, and let's go ahead and uh, put in Mike Sue, for example. All right. Mike Sue. Mm -hmm. So when you go ahead and enter that in there, it's, it's now into the, into, this, into the data source. You give it a few seconds. Okay, there it is. And if you look at your phone, the Nets, the NetSuite application that you can download to the iPhones or to all the smartphones will actually show you anytime something's been updated on NetSuite. So if you're out playing golf with the buddies and it's on your mind whether an account was closed, you'll be able to tell. You won't have to call or interrupt the game to find out what's going on. Nice. That is convenient. Mm -hmm. So how do you how do you feel that addresses the the real time information need that you've been that you've been feeling? Well, it's, it's definitely accessible. Mm -hmm. Now is this being um, you know shifted over online? Is this on the internet? That's on the internet. You're absolutely right. How do I know that one of my employees won't leave their phone somewhere and uh, a competitor comes by and picks it up? Or how do I know that uh, the system won't be hacked and all my information is right there on the internet? That's a that's a very good concern because you don't you don't know if someone might misplace it. What we've done to eliminate that insecurity is. We've noticed that anytime you go onto a banking website, you provide all your information, you have to have your money, and you yeah. feel safe. What we did to go ahead and you know, transfer that safety feeling over to NetSuite is you can actually go on our site and have 100% confidence that we're using the same security bit encryption that all the banks are using. For, for guys like me and you, all that means is that someone that doesn't need to be seeing your information won't see it. So if they if your phone if someone's phone is found, they'll need access information to access it, mm -hmm. and if they can't, if someone does try to access it, you'll know if someone's trying to breach it. So the information is secure. It's well secure for you, absolutely. And how do you feel that addresses your concern for security? I like it. I like it. Okay. So so far we've talked about the gap in the information. We've also talked about uh, real time information since you have the phone always with you, and you'll be able to get all those updates to your phone. Mm -hmm. And we also talked about security. And what I would like to do 
is, is there any reason this wouldn't make sense to go ahead and help you get started with this today? Uh, I like how it's sounding. Mm -hmm. I'm a little concerned with implementing this kind of system right now. Yes. We're currently expanding into uh, mm -hmm. you know, uh, more offices. We're expanding right now. And yeah. It's a lot to put on. We're, we've just changed our strategy from going from small businesses to medium-sized businesses, and it's a, it's a lot to put on all at one time. Mm -hmm. I'm a little concerned how much you know, I'm putting on my employees here. Oh, how much okay. training am I pushing on them? And all of this is just added stress. That makes a lot of sense, especially when you're, so many things are changing. With NetSuite, we can actually have all your staff trained in one easy session. So they'll have everything, all the tools they need to get started, to go ahead and start using the system to its... Just one easy session. One easy session. I actually pre-arranged with some of my staff and they're on standby. If you'd like to, we can have them come in on Wednesday afternoon around 3. Wednesday. And we can go ahead and help you get set up with that. What I'm recommending for you today, Mr. McKenzie, is for us to go ahead and get started with the Orlando office. Especially with so many things changing at one time. This is the best way to get started. You get a feel for it. You can understand how it works. And in November, when your new, new location opens up, we'll go ahead and shift directly into that. And that way, everyone's yeah. on the same page. So what this will cost, it'll be for you and your two associates, it'll be $4,500 for the whole year. That's unlimited access, everything you need to do. And uh, that'll set you up until next year. Okay. So you have all that instant. And uh, I can go ahead and have someone here next Wednesday around 3 o'clock. And if you want to go ahead and initial here, we can go ahead and put that request in for you. No, Wednesday's not good. You can't do Wednesdays. Wednesday's not good? No. Okay. Well, we also have Thursday and we also have Friday available for you. Which time would work best for you? Do Thursday. Thursday works good? I do Thursday. Okay, let me go ahead and check off Thursday here. Okay. And if you can go ahead and sign here, mm -hmm. I'll go ahead and have that time reserved for you. And I also want to remind you that with this partnership that you're doing with NetSuite, not only will you have this amazing package for your customer relationship management, but you also have me as your permanent consultant. Any questions that you have, feel free to give me a call and I will be here to help you out with that, okay? Right. And uh, I want to thank you for seeing me today, Mr. McKenzie, right, and it was welcome. a pleasure Thanks for talking to you. No problem. Nice to meet you. Thank you.